we are back on uh, part two where we were having a discussion about um, guys that are purchasing, you know, that are thinking about purchasing a truck and having their concerns about um, <clears throat> having their concerns dealing with pre emissions versus post emission trucks. And so, again, looking at the specification of the equipment, you know, own operator spec versus fleet. So, if you're getting a you know, a lot of guys and stuff that have problems with the trucks, again, they're getting trucks and stuff that came from fleets. And a fleet truck is not going to be taken care of like someone that's an uh, own operator, you know, own operator or own operator spec truck. So, you know, you really have to take that into consideration. So, uh, understanding the spec um, own operator versus fleet. So, if you're getting an own operator spec truck, right? Um, one of the giveaways of the truck being on operated spec is the transmission. Um, 13 speed transmissions are a real key indicator as the truck being on operated spec. Now, it's not to say that they don't come with their problems, but you know, when you're looking at the truck, right, you have to look at like sometimes where did, where did the truck come from? Like, for instance, my truck, right? Even though I got it from Lone Mountain, the truck originally came from CR England. But being that the truck is own operator spec, even though it came from CR England, it was in the lease purchase program of CR England, which means that the guys that were over there had to maintain their trucks a little bit better than someone that was a company driver. You know, it wasn't fleet maintained, it was it was maintained by the own operator, you know, or the uh, lease guy that was in it. So in order for him to make money and to stay consistent with him making money, you know, if he had any kind of issues going on with the truck, he had to take it to the shop. So he didn't have time and stuff, you know, if you had check engine lights or, you know, MIL lights or whatever, you know, he had to take it to the shop, find out what was going on with it, get it fixed, get on up the road. You know, his oil changes, you know, they tend to do a better job and stuff with the oil changes, you know, uh, they add, you know, adjectives in and stuff, you know, like uh, Lucas, um, <clears throat> you know, he wants to know what's going on with this truck and stuff the second that a check engine light comes on you know it's not something he could just keep on riding with or whatever you know um he's taking into consideration fuel mileage so and those things that can help increase the fuel mileage so i mean you know if they say well you take the freight liner and they say well i need an overhead done right you know they'll go ahead and adjust they'll go ahead and do the overhead on it you know which is something that trucks need you know every 150 to 175 thousand but you know when you're doing that, you're also looking into you're looking into the engine a little bit more in depth to see what's going on with it, and you can sometimes catch things and stuff before they go bad. You know, as opposed to uh, a fleet truck, you know, it's computer printouts. You know, it's computer printouts and stuff, man, and it's all based upon what the manager wants to do, based upon what the printout is on the truck. So you know, if he gets a red flag in it, you know, they'll pull it to the shop then and stuff and say, hey, you know, okay, um. If it's a little bit too much and stuff for the fleet, they'll send it to the manufacturer. If it's, you know, then the manufacturer, they'll say, well, you know what, hey, man, um, just go ahead and cut your losses on the truck there and stuff, and we'll just go ahead and um, end the lease on this one. You know, we'll go ahead and take this one back and stuff, even though, you know, because they're, they're getting it. That's why they say they're getting it in fleets and stuff, you know. So if he gets, um, he gets X amount of trucks, say he gets 100 trucks, right? You know, if a few of them have to go back and stuff, right, on account of, you know, the truck's not being efficient, then, you know, the manufacturer will take it in and stuff, and then they'll replace it with something else and stuff that's a little bit up to par. Or something that is up to par and stuff because, you know, they have their reputation that they have to uphold, you know, to their customer. And so that's how the trucks wind up back, you know. That's how they wind up back on the lot or whatever and stuff like that. So, you know, they already saying, well, we're taking the loss. So, you know, they put it out there. They give you a good price on it, then you know you go and you purchase the truck, you know, because you're looking at the pricing and all that stuff. Then instead of the specifications, then you know you wind up going down the road. Now you find out all these problems and stuff. Now you have to deal with them, you know, and you have to get those things up to par and stuff, which you know it, it works out and stuff. I mean, it, it's just it's gonna in those in those instances there and stuff. You got to come in with a little bit more money. You know a little bit more money and be a little bit more patient but you know if you're planning on keeping the truck then you know everything works itself out and stuff and then you know once everything is corrected then you say well hey i got a pretty good truck here but it's just you know 
this is what you see a lot of times and stuff with a lot of drivers when they saying that they purchased a truck, you know, it, it came from a fleet, you know, own operator spec, look at the specifications. Like I said, 13 speed is one of the big giveaways and stuff because a fleet is not going, um, you know, a fleet truck is not going to really waste their time and stuff with, um, those type of specifications there and stuff. They're usually going to, you know, run with, um, straight 10, and try to be more, you know, try to be as efficient as they can with a straight 10. You know, they, the truck is not going to have all the bells and whistles and stuff in, you know, all the gauge clusters and all that, you know, because uh, all the fault codes and stuff go straight, they go straight to the computer printout and stuff that the fleet manager gets. You know, they know that they're paying the driver to drive the truck, not to maintain it. You know, that's why the fleet manager is there to maintain the truck. So, um, you know, in order to have a good truck, it, it takes more than just doing, you know, your uh, morning pre-trips and stuff. I mean, it's a real in-depth thing and stuff. You know, that's the essence of being an owner-operator. And so, you know, that's why you see a lot of owner-operators and stuff in their trucks. They take real pride in their ride and stuff, you know. Uh, even if they buy a fleet truck and stuff, you know, it's just they go in-depth with the truck and find out all the things and stuff that are wrong with it and just fix all the imperfections. So that's what it is. But if you're trying not to run into those problems right off the gate, then, you know, the thing is to get you an own operator spec truck, if you can, uh, off the get, off the get go, you know? So, um, again, when you're looking for a truck, you know, see if it's own operator spec, because if it's own operator spec, it's going to be taken care of a lot. It's, it's going to be taken care of a lot better. Um, and a lot of those issues and stuff, you know, you're not going to run into them. And if you do run into any kind of issues and stuff, they're going to be very minor. So, you know, that's my take on this stuff. Um, if you want me to go more in depth, my information is up here on my page and stuff. I just say that if you do contact me, let it be about the industry and I'll help you out as much as I can. Um, and with that being said, this your man right here, the one and only, that beautiful Rhode Island Red Rooster. I'm telling you that... Um, I got a Facebook page too and stuff, you know, why I put trucker content up there as well and stuff. Send me that friend request and I'll go ahead and accept you. And that's that, man. So again, this is your man right here, the one and only, that beautiful road out of Red Roots to tell you as always, continue to do your research, fact finding studies. Honest on your skills every day. Till next time we talk, next time we meet, be safe, be easy, and peace out.